that is from the back to the top. Oh, I'm only joking. It is another wonderful morning. I mean, I'm just enjoying looking at the buttercup and the beautiful scenery around me. It's a really, really nice morning. Beautiful, not nice, it's beautiful. There's more people out today walking their dogs. There's a um, gentleman over there playing ball with his son, which is lovely. It's all good. But I wanted to share with you on the front of my, on the cover of the book, there's a credit on here written while she's, we wrote, I wrote it. But she said, um, the credit she's given me it says, totally enjoyed book, couldn't put it down, totally inspired by this woman's determination. And every, she's one of my, she's one of my really, really good customers. And I was even going to do a YouTube with her because she's so encouraging. You know, even from my first book, which she bought years ago, she's so, it's like, oh, I really enjoyed the book, da 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 da, -da. when you write another one, if you update it, let me know, I'm going to buy it, and it's the same with Taffy Howe. So encouraging. And then sometimes, when I go to particular areas, it's happened on a few occasions where someone stopped in their car and said, are you the lady that sold me the book? It's really good, I really enjoyed it. You know, have you written any more? When's the next book? When, when's the next one coming out? Something like that. But then on the other hand, you get people that have other comments, like they didn't enjoy the book. And I'm aware that not everybody's going to enjoy this book. I'm aware that everybody has different genres. There was a particular gentleman that called me midnight at midnight to tell me that he didn't enjoy the book. <laughs> and um, I laugh. I'm not laughing at, at the fact he was telling me that, but I mean, he called me at midnight. And so I responded the next day and just said to him, I texted him and I just said that, um, excuse me, my eyes are watering. I just said that I am, I do appreciate that not everybody's going to like the book, uh, but because I've sold over 10,000 copies at the time, I've sold over 10,000 copies. I do understand not everybody, not all 10,000 people are going to enjoy the book, but thank you very much for your comment. And because I didn't respond negatively, he then had to send me another comment and then I responded positively and then he sent me another one and then what he said was anyway I don't care about your book the book's rubbish or something like that oh, it's got mistakes and this and it but anyway if you want someone to help you edit the book I'll do it for X amount of pounds and I'm sort of thinking didn't he just tell me that he didn't care about the book so if you don't care about something why are you going to want to <laughs> put your time into it so, I mean, that's why I am aware that there are two types of criticism. There's constructive and destructive. Constructive to me is when someone can see you doing something, they can see potential, but they feel or they know it could be better if you either put that into it or took this away or worked on this particular area to make it better. And then destructive criticism is just basically putting the person down because maybe you don't like the fact that they've done something you haven't. So to stop them from continuing, maybe it's good to pull, maybe they think, you know, the best way is to pull the person down to stop them from doing what they're doing. But how about you? Have you been in a situation where someone's giving you constructive criticism and it's turned the whole situation around, making something good? Great. Or have you been in a situation where someone's giving you destructive criticism and it has, it's deflated you? And you sort of thought, you know something, the person's right, oh, I might as well give up, blah, 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 blah. You know, don't forget to comment on my page, let me know. But with me, I, I have, I, I'm a fighter, I like to think I am. I mean, sometimes people can say things to me and I'm like, oh my God. But then, you know, some, you know, I know how to pull myself back up and sort of think, okay, what the person said may be true, may not be, but maybe it's true. So what can I do to better myself? Okay, so this needs to, I need to improve on this area. Oh, let me go and do it. Because there's a lot of people that used to see the book. And then I'll show you another version of how the book used to look before this cover uh, came about. And I used to have people that used to look at the book and say, oh, you know, you should change this, you should, you should change that. I'll do another video on it, you know, so I can go into more detail. But it's, you know, you know when someone's giving you constructive criticism and destructive criticism. So, you know. It's good when it's constructive, isn't it? <laughs> when it's destructive to me, you can use it in a, in, a, in a positive way and say, okay. 
I'm going to do even better anyway and I'm going to prove that I'm going to be persistent and I'm going to persevere and I'm going to make it happen. But um, I do look forward to hearing your comments and, and let me know how you're getting on with your projects and um, if you've got any new ideas that you'd like to share with me, let me know. You take care, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.